Let us begin the second part of our lesson number six features in MS Word. Children, the first topic which we are going to learn today is find and replace. Find command is used to search for a particular word or text. So, if you want to find anything, then you will go to the find command. And replace command replaces the selected text or word with a new word. Let us see what are the main steps to replace a word. Click at the beginning of the document. Whichever document you want to use, so you have to click on the beginning of your document. Click on the home tab, on the ribbon and then on the replace button. It is at the right side. Type the text you want to find. After this, you will be getting two options. Replace the word or replace all. I will show you both the options in my video. And then you have to click OK to close the dialog box. Children, today we will learn about replacing a word. As you can see here in my document, I have taken all the generations. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation and fifth generation. But Deliberately, I have written the wrong spelling of computer. Every win. Can you see? Each computer word is underlined with red wavy line. So, we need to correct it. Suppose, we do not want to correct it individually. What we can do? We can go to the replace button. Can you see this? Just you have to click it. And then it will appear. The dialog box will appear. You have to write the spelling of the word which you want to find. So we will have to write the wrong spelling because now we are going to find it. Wherever this spelling is written, we need to replace it with computer. Now we will write the correct spelling. Okay? And if we are going to click replace, then one by one it will correct the computer spelling. It has found this. And now replace. See children, it is now replacing. Again computer spelling is wrong over here. If we are going to press replace, it has converted and written the correct spelling. Again, this one is highlighted by the computer. Again, replace. Again, replace. Or if you want, you can click on this button, replace all. Now, it is showing all done. We made 10 replacement. You have to click OK. You will see wherever the spelling was mistaken, it has already corrected all the spelling mistakes. Like this, you can also do it and practice it.
the next subtopic which we are going to take today is change case sometimes in a document you may need to change the case of the text that is the appearance the text you have taken in small letters or written in small letters should have been written in capital letters that is upper case then what you will do are you going to delete the whole document and then rewrite in capital letters no there is a option in which you can change the case you can do this without retyping the text by using change case option there are five case options offered by ms word let us see one by one the first one is sentence case in this the first character in the sentence will be in upper case and rest will be in lower case upper case here means capital letter and lower case means small letter lower case all characters will be in lower case that is the small letters the third one will be upper case all characters will appear in capital letters fourth is capitalize each word as it is written here c capital and then the word capitalize all the other alphabets are in small letter again e is capital others are in small letter w is capital others are in small letters in the same manner you will get the first character of the word is capital and the rest are small doggle case it is the reverse of the capitalize each word case the first character of the word will be small and the rest are capital it is the opposite of capitalize each word case here c is capital so in doggle case c will be in small and others will be in capital let us see this in an example children today we will learn how we can change the text case again you can see i have opened the same document and just read the first sentence the different generations of computer are so this line we are going to select it first it will be highlighted and then we will go to text case button as you can see a a is written here then you will click on it all the options will be available to you since it is already in sentence case we will change into lower case now sentence case the first word and the first alphabet the first alphabet of the first word will be capital as we usually write it in english suppose we have selected this and we click on lower case it all will be converted into small letters here t is capital it will be converted into small letter so all the alphabets will converted into small letters suppose we click on upper case now all the alphabets will become capital again we can choose the fourth option in this capitalize each word that means each word the first letter or alphabet will be capital here t will be capital d will be capital g will be capital let us see you can see that first alphabet is capital now t d 
G O C R. Now the fifth option toggle case. Opposite of this option it is toggle case. Capitalize each word. It is the opposite of this. Let us see what will happen. Earlier T was capital, H E was small. Now T is small and H E is capital. D was capital, everything was in small letter. Now D is in small letter and everything is in capital letter. We generally don't use this type of format. Let us again change into sentence case. Again in the sentence case you can see the T is capital over here and others are in small letter. In this way you can practice. I hope children you have understood the various things which we have done today. So just practice it at home so that you can understand it in a better manner. Thank you children for watching this video.